I haven't got enough space, so... Hello, welcome to Podpad Studios. I'm Mrs Breaker and this is Boo Boo. And we're just catching up on what happened over the weekend. We had a really, really busy weekend. We went off to Dorset Comic Con. Boo Boo met his brother and a lot of other people there that he already knows and we had a great time. Boo Boo, really? Hmm, yeah, I'm getting all the gossip, but if you want to find out what happened, have a little look towards the end of the show. We give you a little montage of what went on. The cosplays were fabulous. Anyway, in the meantime, Master Breaker is going to give you a little update on the T1. Right, so I'm back with the T1. Um, you can see now we've got a lot more metal work sort of sorted out. The, the bogies are now welded across to the main frame. It's not braced yet. Obviously, we need more bracing put in because of the weight of the motors and everything. But at the moment, we do have a rolling chassis. Back wheel, even got a coat of primer on it. So you can see there, there's the drive. The idea is the track will engage on that and that will then loop the track round under the tracks. And here is a tensioner system, which is the same as this, but just, just vertical. So this allows this to move up and down to again, to tension the track. You will notice the difference here. Now, obviously you've got the four wheels on the bogey there and there's four wheels here, but if you'll notice here, these are slightly raised. Now, the reason for that is this will have to turn on the actuator. Now, with four wheels in contact with the ground, that's gonna be quite an object to have to, to physically pull around, but with two wheels in contact with the ground, the contact patch is smaller, so the turning arc is gonna be much easier for the actuator to move this wheel. This is my rear track, and you can see that I've got my drive wheel here, or, you know, my sprocketed wheel, it's not driven, and I've got four wheels here. Big problem I've got with this, and I had this problem all the way along, is turning this. This will be pivoted and it will turn. So I can't make, I can't get rid of the friction. This is, I've got a major problem with this, so I'm gonna drop a wheel. Really, really simple. I'm going to raise that wheel off the ground, raise this wheel off the ground. It means it will pivot on that point. So when the track's on, it means its contact patch with the ground is tiny. So you can see what I've done here. I've come back and I've modified it. Here's my wheels and I've re-drilled all this, which means that once I've cut this off, my center wheel, this wheel here will be on the ground and this wheel and this wheel will be raised. So it will create, when it's held on the pivot, a seesaw affair, which means it'll go around corners. It's that simple. So welcome back to the uh, Terminator T1 build. You can see an awful lot has been put together since the last time we sort of, uh, you had a look. Now, what's been done? You, you'd seen the bogies being put together. So obviously these, these sections here, the adjusters have been obviously fitted so we can now move the rear wheel backwards and forwards. So when the track goes over, it can be tensioned. Drive sprocket out the front. Whether all that is gonna work, your guess is as good as mine. We, we're building the tracks at the moment. Um, a lot, as I said to you at the beginning of this build, a lot of this is unknown. We really don't know until the tracks go on, until we tension them up, until we put power through it. Will they break? Will they work? I don't know. Anyway, it's the rear section has been put on as well. And you can see here that it obviously now the pivot, it's pivoted to the rear steering system. Um, now if I pop some power, into the rear steering system. You can see this working. Obviously this will be running at 24 volts. This is just a 12 volt battery, so it's quite slow. So you can see then steering one way and steering the other way. And of course that will be linked in, that will be linked in with the track turning. So as the tracks turn, the actuator will be uh, triggered to turn this rear section. Obviously it holds it in position as well from when you're going backwards. Um, the upper section is made with very, very lightweight steel, but it's, it's very, very strong. And this is the lower rising platform. So it's hard to imagine at the moment, but if you can imagine the pivot is going to be here, a turntable. So the top of the robot will then be attached onto here with, you know, with the, the top head section and the gums. Um, this lower section lifts and the upper section lifts as well. And again, this is going to be powered on 24 volts. 
So we're probably running a bit slow at the moment. So you can get an idea there. This will rise up. And it starts to give you an idea how tall this robot is going to be when it's, uh, when it's standing completely upright with its guns outstretched. We're going to be 10, 12 feet tall. So there's still a huge amount of work to do. Um, but as you can see, the frame is getting there now. We're almost... Anyway, the, as I said, next bit is fitting the tracks. Hello, welcome to Podpad Studios. I'm Mrs Breaker and this is Dorset Comic Con down in Weymouth. <laughs> 